Hello, everybody. Andrea here. So if you're at the point where you're going through pricing, you're looking at what you want to buy for your business, what you need to buy for your business, and kind of the, oh, it would be nice if I had an extra $10,000 to buy this. So if you're at that point, what you need to do next is book an appointment with a dental company rep. So if you guys notice, if you if you try to go online to any major dental companies for big ticket items, they will not list prices, even for some of them, they won't list prices for anything unless you register with them and then you can log in and view pricing. But for things like sterilizers, um, piezo units, the Cavitron, um, dental softwares, kind of things like that, they won't often list a price. And let me tell you why. It means because you can negotiate with them. So please do that. If you don't like the price, I mean, you're not going to like the price, but if you feel like you're talking to a company rep and they're not going to give you even a little bit of a deal, don't be afraid to walk away. There's many different dental companies out there. So what I did was, um, and I was new to everything. I didn't have a support system where I could talk to other dental hygienists. They didn't tell me this. This is just something I learned on my own. So when I first started my business several years ago, I called around to different companies. I have worked in dental offices before, and I know they had used companies like Patterson, Henry Schein, um, Maxill, those are just kind of the main ones around here. Well, Patterson is one of the bigger ones, and I was always told that you get better deals from there. So I booked an appointment with a rep to come to my house, and we talked about things, um, pricing, all of that. And they were extremely helpful. They will answer your questions. So I spent a ton of money. Um, at that point, I bought a sterilizer, I bought a statum sterilizer, I bought an incubator, I bought spore tests. Um, I bought a lot more things. It's funny, I can't think about it right now, but I bought kind of the big ticket items. So like $20,000 later, literally. Um, that's where I bought kind of my big ticket items. My compressor unit, I bought from another company online, Aseptico. I did the same thing. I contacted them. They couldn't come to me because they're from the States, but I contacted them and I negotiated a deal with them. Don't be afraid to negotiate. Um, big ticket items. My dental chair that I have for in my office, I just bought from Wayfair, um, like bibs, saliva ejectors, high speed suctions, hand pieces, because I'm a restorative hygienist. I bought a lot of those items from Maxill. So I contacted that, that um, rep, like a company rep also, they came to my home, amazing, and offered me a great deal. So how do you ask for deals? What I did um, with Patterson as an example, I basically said, okay, this is what I need. These are my must have items, my um, you know, need items. And then I should say what I would like to have. So as an example, I needed a sterilizer. With a sterilizer, I needed the incubator set for my, my um, spore tests. I needed the chemical indicators. Those are things that I needed. So I said to him, I said, okay, I need all of this. What can you do for me? I'm a dental hygienist starting my own business. I'm not a dentist where I'm going to make thousands of dollars a day, um, but I need a sterilizer. What can you do for me? If you give me a good deal, I'll be sure to let every other dental hygienist know out there. I teach as well. Good words spreads around fast, but so does bad. What can you do for me? So basically he said that he would, um, I got this, the sterilizer at a reduced rate because I was able to pay cash for that. Um, and he gave me the incubator spore tests um, included. So that saved me several hundred dollars, okay? Um, I'm not saying you will get the same deal, but don't hesitate to ask for a deal, especially if you're purchasing more than one item. If they're not going to budge, say, okay, this is not the price that I had in mind. Um, I have another meeting with Henry Shine or whatever company. With all due respect, I'm looking for a good deal, so I'm going to ask them. Do not be afraid to do that. If you're afraid to do that, then I can tell you right now, you're going to pay full price for everything and nobody wants that. Things are expensive, right? So that's what I did. With Maxil, same thing. So I didn't buy high ticket items, but I bought a lot. I probably spent 
oh, I want to say $5,000, maybe 2000. I spent a couple thousand at least on everything else, masks, bibs, gloves, disinfectants, um, disinfectants for the water lines, um, extra things like toothbrushes, toothpaste samples, instruments. I literally bought a ton of things, kits, lots of things. So I basically said, okay, this is everything I need. What can you do for me? I'm going to buy in bulk because I know this business is going to work. So I am going to buy in bulk, meaning a lot of disinfecting tubs, all of that. What can you do for me? She was amazing. She had, she had also saved me hundred, hundreds of dollars by throwing certain things in since I was purchasing this. Okay. You're purchasing the bulk items of the disinfecting tubs. I'm going to throw in the dental unit waterline cleaners for free, you know, things like that. Do not be afraid to ask. You can ask for things like that. So good luck, you guys. Let me know how it goes. You're going to be overwhelmed. You're going to spend a ton of money. That's what credit cards are for. Don't worry about it. You can do this. This is exciting. Good luck, you guys.